right, so we're at 120 there plus 40 60 plus whatever this is okay yeah, i'm gonna keep looking for a second all right cool thanks man Bloggy flip. good morning I usually look for like old toys, comics, yeah. cards, records, things like that. Okay. Yeah, I don't have too much of that. Just That's okay. Some of those wrestlers and... Are they a dollar a piece? Yeah. Do you know how many are here? Um... One, two, three, four, five. Plus five, so 14. Mm. I'll take them all. Okay. Do you want the car that goes with it? Oh, is that part of it? It crashes and... Sure, 15 then. Okay. Um, let me grab you a bag. Sure. Do you need any change? Nope, there's 15 okay. for you. Awesome. thank you. Let me dump it. Sure. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. I'm gonna grab your box set from you. All right. Ten. Just ten. Thank Perfect. you so much. The Dan SAS. It's got an Israeli sight. It doesn't have a iron sight, but back or something. Right. You look down at the barrel, and there's a green dot. Right. That's it. Yeah. It's not a scope. It's I know exactly what you're saying. I'll tell you what, it sure is easy for you. Hey, buddy, how are you? Good morning. How are you? Pretty good. We've got customers coming in. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, you're gonna regret not getting that trailer. I know. Let me think about it. I might be back. What size ball is that thing? Eight and seven eighths or two? Doesn't matter. I got one for you. Okay. <laughs> I give you the ball too. That's a nice old knife. I mean, it's been used, but K-Bar was back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Those were. This is neat. Those were a good knife, man. That's like brand new. That's pretty cool. Let me think about that trailer. Okay, okay, but I got I got whatever ball you need. Okay. Right. I'll just give it to you. I don't need it. <laughs> How much you have on your knives? I'm sorry? Um, how much you have on your knives? Well, the, the two older ones are 10 bucks a piece, and the uh, buck there, that new buck, is 20. Okay. And it's low worth it. Is it like a trench art knife or something right there? Is that? Yeah. Yeah? Probably like World War II, maybe? Uh, Not quite yeah, that old? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, around there? About that era. I had, uh, that is just a plain old, old Boy Scout knife that's about 60 years old. Yeah, okay. it's fixable. Maybe out of Pretty cool. service can guide you through that to a solution. Right. Yeah, Smith & Wesson. You really need to you're about the second person that's ever even opened that. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Now, you can take that out of the box. This one? But, yeah, but I've never opened it. <laughs> like, the, guy, the, the guy's picture on the front, he gave it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. I used to guide up in the wilderness in Canada, uh -huh. and that's the packs and the, all that stuff. Oh, cool. Those are not traditional packs. Those are, that's a whole week's worth of food in that bag. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, and then there's another week's worth in that, under that blue lid. Oh, that's there. pretty neat. That's pretty cool. 
Let me see. Tell me what you want there, and I'll make you a deal. It's FTV for Phil, too. Ask me the first question, I'll ask when you call. And that's working off rather here, right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Uh, look around real quick, make sure. Sure. I think. Those are cats me out. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I've seen this before. I've seen them. Yeah. I'm sure my wife would. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we travel. They're from all over the place. <laughs> all right. What do you think on all these? I'll tell you what. For all those, I'll take 25 bucks. 25 That's You're a deal. A that's, a, that's a heck of a deal. Yeah. I won't. I'll be our secret. Yeah, I wanted 20 for the one. <laughs> I appreciate it, sir. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. I think I'm going to go ahead and look at that knife now that you opened the box. <laughs> I think I've never seen it. Pretty neat. All right, buddy. Take care. All right, buddy, you have a great one. All right, you too. Thank you. Stop it. Yeah, you got it. Dollar a piece on the album. Dollar a piece on all of them? Okay. How much have on the muscle men? Come all the way from Greenfield. I did, man. They belonged to a buddy. He was hoping for 20 a pack. 20 a pack? Okay, I'll take those. You want those? Yep. That thing, I didn't mess with that. He tried to get me to get that off. No, nope, don't touch it. <laughs> nope, someone did that years ago. How about the G.I. Joe's we got on those? Um, he has 15 a piece. 15 a piece? Okay. And then what about these two patch cards? Uh, this one's 80 and this one's 25. Okay. Would you do 120 on both cards plus the two G.I. Joe's? Be like, like 10 or 15 bucks off, I think. Yeah, were you good on these? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it'll be all right. Cool, man. So we're at 120 there plus 40, 60 plus whatever this is. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking for a second. All right. Cool, thanks, man. Care if I lay these over yeah, here? Go ahead, man. Right. Oh. house, but you got my contact. Yeah. Look at these slip shirts. It's 10. That's cool. Um, I think it was 45 for it. <laughs> Just three a piece on those then. Oh, sure. Two for five. Make it easy. Keep it around. Awesome. Over. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, I thought about those two, but I have them all at home. <laughs> Uh, see what I owe you. All right, man. Did she buy the other three then? Yeah. All right. So what do you got on just those two? Um, I'd take fifty bucks. Fifty for the two? Yeah. Crystal's going for about a hundred, but of course there's that little label yeah. damage. It's going about forty-five, I think. Okay, let's take them. Two fifty was my goal set. You know what I mean? So. Sure. Works for me. 
And I think all these had a price except for this Kiss one. It's like 10 bucks. 10, sure. And then the Taz didn't. 10 bucks. 10. I think that one had a price. Cool. That one had a price, and that one had a price. All right, so we're good. I forget what you offered up 120. The two cards in this, right? Exactly. And then 20 a piece on those because those were your buddies. Yeah, they're not mine. So 160, 160. and then 210. 210. Uh, there's those for you. We got 220, 230, 240, 250, 265. Let's call it 260. Cool, 260. Yeah. So 265 here. Right. And I didn't count these. Uh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks, cool. Yeah. So 275? 275. Awesome, man. Appreciate it. You want a bag, probably? Sure. If you don't mind. Uh, you want to hold these or just put yep. them in a the bag? Thank you. I'm not sure if I have a bag that would hold the album. No, I can just carry them. That's fine. I appreciate the deal, man. This was a cool yeah. little sale. I was hoping it was a lot bigger, but I bought a 24 foot box truck off of an auction mm -hmm. that shut down. Mm -hmm. And when I went to pick it up, I bought a dolly off of them and I took it around back. Uh -huh. And they said, uh, they said, what are you doing with that dolly? I said, putting it in the bag. <laughs> she said, we left the last estate he picked up in it. Hopefully you can double your money on the box truck. Oh, wow. So and I opened it up and I looked through the first box was, first box was, um, what was it? It was woodworking magazines. Right. Like, Nobody wants that. Uh -huh. I opened the second box. It's 55 Bel Air service manual, 57 manual. Oh, nice. Old stock headlights. Jeez. And I got it right before the snow flight, you know, Indiana. Right. So I was like, man, we got to, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, I got to pick it box by box. So. Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's a gold mine right yeah. there. Let's see, 50. There's 150. 20, 40, 60, 80, 250. Right. And then there's the 75. Right, nice. Awesome, man. What's your name? My name's Jeremy. Jeremy Anthony. Yeah. Nice on to Instagram, you, I'm a Thrift Easy. Thrift Easy? With a Z. Okay. So I follow you right now. Some pictures of those parts in there? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right, bro. Take care. Thanks, man. Have a good day. All right, you too. All right, everyone. We are back here in the garage, and it was another really great day of yard sales. So real quick, let me show you what I picked up. Had some pretty small buys for most of the day, like this sale, picked up all these wrestling action figures. They were a dollar a piece, including the WWE Crash and Bash car, I believe it's called. But wrestling figures definitely have a huge following and some can be worth a lot of money. So for a buck a piece, you might as well just buy them all and you're probably not gonna lose. I did notice a few good ones already, like this Elite Series Brock Lesnar. It sells for like 30 to 40 bucks used like this. The Series 16 Ultimate Warrior has comps for like 20 to 25-ish. This Typhoon figure has comps for between like 25 and 45 bucks on his own. And the Elite Series 42 Big Show here is in the like 25 to 30 dollar range. So, that, so I mean, that definitely made the pickup worth it. And then the rest of them are probably in the 5 to 15 dollar range. I'll probably lot those up. The Earthquake figure was another good one with comps at about 35 bucks, but his uh, foot looks like it got chewed up by a dog. So um, he'll probably just go in a lot with the rest of them. I picked up this Metallica box set for uh, 10 bucks. It has three VHS cassettes plus I think a three CD set. I think it originally was, was supposed to have a book with it along with this little uh, backstage pass thing. It does not have the book. If it had the book, these things sell for like 50 to 60 bucks, it looks like, uh, w without the book, probably like 25 or so. Picked up from Knives at one sale from a nice fellow that was just trying to get rid of them. Uh, knives don't necessarily fit in with like the, the pop culture type stuff I normally buy, but I have a soft spot for things like knives and Zippos and stuff. I can't, I can't pass them up when they're a good price. Ended up paying 25 for all four of these, which is a fantastic deal. These two, I don't really know what they'll end up doing. There's, there's no brand names or anything, so they're kind of hard to comp out. These two, though, we have the old K-Bar 1226. This thing has comps for, I think, close to $100, like $75, $80. It needs cleaned up a little bit, so I'm still thinking like probably $40 or $50 on that one. And then pretty similar with this Buck 192T. This one's actually pretty nice. Has some comps for like $80 to $100. I think this one should get pretty close to that because it's in pretty nice shape. So $25 for all four. Doesn't really matter what happens with those two because uh, the money was made on these. And then we have what was definitely the sale of the day, what I'm calling the sale of the year so far. I definitely rank yard sales 
in my head throughout the year. Uh, not always just based on like potential profit, but just the caliber of cool stuff that was there, the nice people that you meet, all that sort of stuff kind of factors into what I consider like my favorite yard sales. And so far for this yard sale season, this for me is the sale to beat. This was a lot of fun. This is some really cool stuff. I met a really nice guy named Jeremy. He goes by Thrift Easy on Instagram. I'll link his profile in the description, but I didn't know him beforehand. He posted an ad to the sale on Facebook Marketplace the night before. It kind of looked too good to be true and I almost skipped it completely because when it looks too good to be true, they normally are for stuff like this. But I ended up changing my entire route just to hit this sale and I'm glad I did. I talked to him for quite a bit after the fact and he basically told me that he just loves picking, doesn't love shipping, so he doesn't mind passing on good deals for like the cool stuff he finds. I definitely see more deals being done with Jeremy here in the future. But real quick, let's look at this haul. I think I'm 275 all in, which was a fantastic deal. I don't pick up a lot of clothes, but certain t-shirts definitely catch my eye. Got a couple Slipknot t-shirts. These aren't super old. I wasn't sure when I bought them, but I think they're from 2014. So they're about eight years old. I just think they're really cool, kind of worn in. Graphics are kind of faded. Same with this one. I think this is about from the same year, but there's always a market for Slipknot t-shirts. This is a vintage shirt. This is from 1994. It's Taz on a motorcycle, says bad to the bone. Very cool graphic and very good shape. That is an XL, so it's a good size as well. Just thought this shirt had a really cool look to it. It's also vintage from 1994. Colorful graphics, it says Motor Factory on the front. On the back, looks like it was a Harley shop in Salem, Indiana. And then a nice colorful Kiss shirt. This one's from 2004, so not super old. The back, it says Kiss Army, Rock the Nation. Some more cool graphics. Um, I think I ended up paying around 10 bucks a piece for these. I think they're all worth probably at least 20, if not more on some of them. Got some sealed muscle figures from 1985. These were kind of on my bucket list to try to find um, sealed muscle from the 80s. These are unpunched. They do have where someone wrote 10 cents on the card itself. I'm assuming that was probably for a uh, yard sale 30 years ago or something. So I kind of think it's cool, honestly. Paid 20 bucks a piece for these. Sealed muscle packs tend to sell for between like 45 and 60 bucks. So definitely a, a good deal on those. Got all these records. There were 27 of them. Ended up getting the whole stack for 10 bucks, which was phenomenal. These are primarily hip hop 12 inch singles. So, so honestly, not a huge amount of value if you were going to try to sell these online and ship them. But I should have no problem getting like five to 10 bucks a piece for most of these over time. This is one of my favorites, MC8. I was actually an MC8 fan as a kid uh, because he was in Menace to Society. So then I started listening to his music after that, but I thought that one was really cool. But then we got Domino, The Hard Boys, Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Boom Shake the Room, Missy Elliott before her big album even came out. MC Light, there's another Missy Elliott, Rotten Rascals, Arrested Development, that one's really neat, Rumors, Timex Social Club, Inner Circle One Way, this is actually contains the uh, theme song of the Cops, which I'm sure you've all heard, The Jets, Princess, Eric Benet, I believe this is pronounced M2 May, I could be wrong, Ill Al Scratch featuring Brian McKnight, CC Peniston, The Cover Girls, Mista, Mista, Brandy, Mint Condition, Ted and the Boys, or TTED and the Boys, Maya, there's a Motown record, James Brown, and Evelyn King. So yeah, like I said, primarily hip hop and R&B 12 inch singles. I just think they're really cool and a definite score at 10 bucks for the stack. Picked up a couple Pokemon games. They are legit. You always take them apart and make sure. Uh, these are good to go. A little bit of label damage on this crystal version here, and then a little bit of fading on this one. Paid 50 bucks for the pair. I've seen comps of the crystal version with no label sell for close to 100 bucks, if not more, uh, with a good label closer to 150 so should fall somewhere in there i think and then this version I, I think it's quite a bit cheaper like maybe 30 to 40 bucks got a couple pokemon strategy guides i think i paid five bucks for the pair of these gold and silver looks like it can sell for quite a bit but this one's in uh, kind of rough shape so definitely not going to lose at five bucks for the two and then for these four things here, ended up paying 120 and the cards were a total guess, just thought they were cool. But these G.I. Joe Renegades, we have uh, Snake Eyes here, which I think has comp for about 30 bucks or so in this condition. And Storm Shadow in this condition has comps for, I think, 35 to 40 bucks. So there's quite a bit of the money back right there. Now these two cards, I think are about the coolest thing ever. I really enjoy collectible cards and dealing in collectible cards, buying collectible cards. I don't do a lot with sports cards unless they just really catch my eye somehow. And that's what happened here. These were made by Leaf. This one's called Retired Remnants. It has a game-worn patch from Johnny Bench and a game-worn patch from Joe Morgan. It's numbered six out of six because it's like a red hollow foil parallel. And then this one also made by Leaf, it's called The Fabled Four. It has game-worn swatches from Kobe 
Kobe Bryant, Julius Irving, Dr. J, Larry Bird, and Tim Duncan. This thing is just amazing, I think. It is also like a red hollow foil parallel, and it's numbered four out of four. Kind of hard to put a definitive value on this sort of thing. I did see comps on one of these numbered out of nine, so one of the not so limited editions sell for like 50 or 60. I'm thinking this one might be closer to like 60 or 70 bucks just because it's numbered out of six. And then this one, I've seen comps numbered out of four for closer to like 170 bucks on um, eBay auction. But paying 120 for this entire setup here, I couldn't be happier with this buy. So thank you so much, Jeremy, for the awesome yard sale deal. It was a pleasure to meet you and uh, I'm sure I'll see you again sometime. But that is all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap.